All right, let's take a look at the first problem from your homework. Um, it says the price of an InstaZoom camera increased from $75 to $90. Uh, and we want to find the percent of increase in the price. Okay, let's start by first figuring out um, what was the original amount the camera started at, and then what is the new amount? What did it go up to in this case? So the original amount was $75, and then it went up to 90 so that's my new amount. Okay. This is going to allow me to figure out how much it went up by, or the amount of the change. So I'm going to put my little arrow to remember this is going to be a percent of increase when I'm all done. Um, and so the amount that it increased, I just take my new amount, oops, let me uh, write the correct amount there. I take my new amount minus my original, and that's going to tell me how, mu how much it went up by. So it went up $15. This is the amount of my increase. Okay, And we're going to use that in our proportion. So if you look up here, this is the proportion that you should have in your notes from the videos and from class. So we just found the amount that it went up by. That's the amount of increase. So it went up $15 and it started at 75. So we want to see like what percent is that? What percent is 15 out of 75? So I'm going to do the uh, uh, amount of the increase over the original and then we're looking for the percent of the increase. So we put x over 100. Okay, and then we're going to cross multiply and I do 15 times 100 and that's 1500 divided by 75 and I see that X is 20. So what does that mean? Well that's a 20 percent increase. Okay, That's how much the camera went up by. And you can check to see too, if you take 75 times 0.2 you're going to get $15, so that's 20 percent of 75. $15, that's how much it went up by. That matches what the problem's telling us, so we know we've got the right answer here. Okay, so what you want to do now with this particular worksheet is go back to the worksheet and see... Um, hold on, I'm going to pause here. There. and see which one of these has 20%. And I look over to the right and I see right here um, the letters DA has 20%. Okay, So um, you can either do this now or do this at the end, it doesn't matter, but I'm going to take the any box numbered 1, I'm going to put DA in it. So way down at the bottom here I put DA. Okay, I'm not as worried about the puzzle as I am that you're understanding the um, how to do the percent change here. So um, let's try the next one and see how we do. All right, this one says the number of students attending Sky High School increased from 1,500 to 1,700. And we're looking for the percent of increase. So the original amount and the new amount is what we're starting with. So I'm looking at this saying, well, what did it start at? Well, it started at 1,500 or 1,500, and it increased to 1,700. So I can now find the amount that it increased by subtracting my new, uh, my new subtracted, um, my original from my new. Let me say that again. So it went up 200. So that's the amount of increase over the original, 1,500. And we want to figure out what percent that is. So we say x over 100. And when we do that, we're going to take 200 times 100. And I hope you're doing these with me here. Um, divided by 1,500. And you get x is about, it's 13.3 repeating, 
which I know is one third. So, or 13 and one third percent. And maybe you had that and you didn't see your answer there and that's why you thought it was wrong. Um, let's look back at the sheet now and see what letter that would be. So I had 13 and one third percent and I see that's my double O. So I go to box number two at the bottom and I put O, O. All right, let's take a look at number three. Um, I'm hoping you're working on your worksheet with me. I know this is hard to see, but uh, it'll do for what we're doing tonight. Um, so if I'm reading number three, it says, because of improved technology, the time needed to manufacture an XYZ machine has fallen from 20 hours to nine hours. Find the percent of decrease. Okay, so first identify the original and the new. Well, it says that it fell from 20 hours to 9. So it, that means it started at 20 and it went down to 9. And my amount of increase is 20 minus 9 or 11. That's the amount of decrease. All right, so the amount of decrease always goes over the original amount, so what you started at. And we're going to figure out what percent that would be. So what percent is 11 out of the 20? Okay, and so to do that we're going to take 11 times 100 which is 1100 and um, divide that by 20 and we see X equals 55 percent. So it's a 55 percent decrease um, in the amount of time that it takes to manufacture. So I look over to the right I see that's H E, so box number three gets H and then E. Um, I'll keep going on here. If you feel like you get it now, certainly feel free to stop the video. Um, but if you want um, to work through them with me, you can go ahead and do this now um, and we will um, touch base in the morning here. Let me pause and clear out some stuff. All right, look at number four. It says, um, after two weeks on the trinomial diet, Thelda's weight dropped from 60 kilograms to 56 kilograms. Find the percent of decrease. So we know it decreased. That means our original has to be higher than our new, or what it started at. It's, she started at 60 kilograms, and she went down to 56. So that was a decrease. And 60 minus 56 is 4, so she dropped 4 pounds, or sorry, 4 kilograms out of her original 60, and we want to know what percent 4 is out of 60. And 4 times 100 is 400 divided by 60, and we get 6.6 .6 repeating percent. So if you come over here and start looking, you're not going to see 6.6 .6 repeating. Uh, and you might think you're wrong. Um, but let's take a look at some that are close to see which one would fit here. Um, I do see 6 and 2 thirds percent. Well, I know that 2 divided by 3 is 0.6 repeating, so these two are actually equal to each other. So I go to box 4, put in the I, put in the T, and keep going from there. Hopefully this is making a little bit more sense, um, but let's let's do number five, and then I'm going to um, let you try the rest on your own, and we'll talk tomorrow. So during one year, the value of a diamond increased 25%. Ooh, this one looks different than the rest that we've seen so far. Um, the diamond was originally worth $3,000. What was it worth one year later? Okay, so... In one year, it increased 25%, and the original amount is given. It said originally it was $3,000, and it increased 25%. Okay, this time they're not telling us how much it went up by. They're telling us the percent that it went up by. Well, we know how to find the percent of a number. You could set up a proportion. I'm going to work down here, follow along if... Um, if you're still watching this. So you could find it by doing 25% of the number, so setting up this proportion, 
Or what, you know, we talked about being the faster way is just 0 0.25, so you turn it into a decimal, times 3,000. Either method that you use, you're going to find out what 25% of that number is, 25% of 3,000. And that's $750. Okay, so that tells us it went up $750. Okay. Uh, so, whoa. Got a sloppy mess here. Um, so originally it was three thousand. It went up seven hundred and fifty. So I just have to add those together to figure out how much it was worth the next year. So I take three thousand plus seven hundred and fifty, and I get three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars, which shows up over here. H A for number five. All right. Um, so maybe this will get you started. Um, if you're stuck on them still, obviously bring them in. We'll talk tomorrow, and have a good night. We'll see you then.